go to the game. Alright, hello everybody. I'm uh, Cameron. I'm Michael. You know, this is the Game Squad. The Game the Squad. The Game the Squad. <laughs> this is culturally insensitive. Where is my fried lice? <laughs> <laughs> My friend, no. Oh, God. Fuck you, Duffin. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, well. <laughs> Welcome to Shitty Shushi. <laughs> oh, no. This is a stereotype. <laughs> he wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, uh, I just, like, I now realize that was, like, a reference to, uh, the psycho. I didn't know that before. What, the, the fly going yeah, to the yeah. house? Yeah. No, no, just like he wouldn't have a fly thing. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't really. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. They do a lot of, like, those really slow. Like, like some of our That's great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, which do you prefer? <laughs> My good chan, uh, apples, grapes, or oranges? We could, uh, gather all three. But I bet we can only grab a few for ourselves. Fuck, this is all me. This is all gonna. Um, apples, I guess! We have a fox girl once, a friend of Onesima, who, uh, who loved apples. I can't remember her name, though. Because her head's a bit hollow. Apples are awesome. Crunchy on the outside and squid on the inside. And your head isn't hollow, silly. That's true. I think I'd still be stuck in that jail cell. Onesima did most of the thinking, though. I just sort of went along with what you said. Oh, dude, fuck. My voice is gone already. Oh, shit. You, you want me to do... No, no. I got this, Michael. All right, all right. I'm just gonna sit here then and uh, wake yeah. up for something. Uh, or something. Well, uh, someone has to take the lead. Besides, I'm still grateful for uh, your help. All the same. How about I uh, playfully flick the Mayako spoiler with a grin? See? Does it sound hollow at all? I'm sure there's plenty of uh, clever thoughts in that pretty little head of yours. Ow! Me! No, you know I'm right at least. Anyway, let's get those apples, shall we? Okay, I'll get them. I'll get them. You go grab a basket over there. All right, let's get down to business. Let's get, get down uh, to we business. Did this last time, but they didn't know it. Okay, but to defeat the, the Huns. Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I ever met. But you can bet before I grew. Sister, I'll make, make a man out of you. Close enough. Yeah, that's fine. That's whatever. They, yeah, but they, they, they never know that we were already saying this when they said that. I forgot, yeah. Yeah, so so we're safe. So I fucked it up for one. And then, and then I fucked it up. And then you fucked, fucked it, it up. up. Jordan, just, just, just play that clip like over this. Just, like, that's what I did. Straight from the Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Disney XD in the background. <laughs> uh, feeling hyped, I went to grab uh, some of the basket sack nearby and returned to Mayako. We started climbing one of the trees. The girl looked accustomed to climbing, but her small hands had me a bit worried. Hanging from the branch of just her legs, she checked to see if the, uh, the apples were ripe. Mayako, be careful. You might slip. Ow! The girl had thrown an apple at me, and while my reflexes let me catch it with an ease, the force behind it still slung my palm a little. Of course, it did exaggerate a bit for the girl. Takakun, I've been climbing the streets all my life. Even the most experienced climbers end up running into trouble if they aren't careful. 127 hours. Yeah, exactly. Poor David Franco. Lost an arm. Yeah. I smiled weakly at the girl's excited attitude. Placing the apple I caught in the basket. Could you imagine if he, like, if he was just that devoted? He's like, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna cut off my arm for this. I respect him more for that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Like, you didn't even need to do it. Yeah, but... He, you just sat there for 127 yeah. hours, and it was like, you know what? I've done my time here, but I still haven't paid my sentence. I gotta <laughs> cut off an arm. I feel I feel like you do that. He's into, like, arts and shit like that. Like, I feel like you take his character there. That's true. It's James Franco, not David Franco. That's his little brother. Yeah, David's cool, too. Though. Yeah, he is. He's another copy. Then their older brother, too. I think it's they Thomas. They have an older brother? Yeah, all three of them uh, act. And really? I think their oldest brother got into it first. Isn't known for anything, really. Yeah. Uh, then James became famous. And then David and came David out. Shit, really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
And there's Philip DeFranco, the uh, lesser known. Yeah, the lesser cousin. known. He's a cousin. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's like the son shit. of like one of them. That's why he's DeFranco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's, of. Yeah. yeah. He's he's like uh, Frankie from the Jonas Brothers, like that. But the, the he's adopted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one nobody knows. Him. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, Frankie's the only name that I remember, like, other than of course Joe Jonas and Nick Jonas. Who's that's, the other one? That's. Uh, I don't know. I have no. Because I know Frankie. I know Frankie, Joe, and Nick. <sighs> oh, what's the other one? Isn't isn't? Fuck, dude. Yeah, it, it's the older brother, right? The one, the one that, like doesn't do anything, doesn't do music or like acting. Or... Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, he's just like a behind the scenes. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's stopped. Yeah, he has like a family now. So. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, no, right. Who the fuck starts a family nowadays? Like, like what? Yeah, right. It's ridiculous. I smiled weakly at the girl's excited attitude, placing the apple I caught into the basket. You placed uh, the apple into the basket twice, because you said it. I placed a third apple into the basket. She's only giving you one apple. I continuously pull out apples out of the air and put them in the basket. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of me, Sama. The basket does not get full. <laughs> <laughs> it is empty. <laughs> <laughs> I have been using the same apple the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, bud? You're hallucinating. Yeah, no. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just... You know, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I'm a fox spirit. I won't fall. I'm super careful. Watch. I'll grab the apples near the top. Wait, wait, Mike, John. Unless you can fly, I don't think you should go for those. Fly? I can't do that silly talk, Akun. Who ever heard of a flying fox spirit? Ah! I've never heard of a spira. Yeah, spira. As expected, the moment Mike would try to reach for the apples near the top of the tree, the girl ended up losing her footing and uh, tumbled down towards the ground with a loud cry. Maiko! My reflexes quickly kicked themselves into gear, trying to catch the girl before she hit the ground. Unfortunately, I did not notice the apples scattered around the tree, and as a result, I ended up tripping over them. I managed another few steps, and was able to catch Maiko before I dropped to the ground. He pulled a uh, Spider-Man, though, and her head hit the ground, and she died. Yeah, it's... <laughs> that was one of the, like, most exactly. bullshit deaths I've ever seen anything ever. Was well, that how, uh, Gwen died? That's or? how Gwen dies. Oh, shit. Yeah, she falls down this thing because of, uh, the Hobgoblin. Mm -hmm. Or the new Green Goblin, whoever the fuck you call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it was played by Dandy Han. And, uh, she is just barely saved, but she, like, taps her head against the ground. <laughs> it just and cracks. she's dead. It's just... <laughs> Like, it was so fucking stupid. He couldn't kill her off. <laughs> it could have killed her off in so many better ways. Like, he could have just not saved her and, like, been this close to saving her. But the Green Goblin's in that movie, too? Kind of. He's not the Green so, Goblin. So they have the Goblin, the, like, Electric Man, and, like, the Rhino. Yeah, but the Rhino only has, isn't, like, It's the same shit that made Spider-Man 3 horrible, was that they yeah. just threw too many villains in there. That's one of the reasons why people panned it. And that's one of the reasons why... I got Homecoming, rebooted again. <laughs> that's also one of the reasons why Homecoming is sort of... Like Anna on it because there's supposed to be three villains. Dude, we, we know of stop. One. <laughs> we know of one, and what they think they're going to end up doing is have, obviously, uh, Michael Keaton's the main bad guy, mm. and he's Vulture. I think it's Vulture. Whatever he's, he's yeah, 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 the yeah. flying dude. And they're going to have like two behind the scenes kind of guys. Mm. Um, so they might like introduce the Green Goblin for the next films, just so that they can like start up the Sinister Six okay. or whatever. So yeah, I guess. And then they could have like. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's, like, a mad scientist that's always, like, working behind the scenes, uh, working on different, like, tr trinkets and shit. Alright. I just, I don't know, dude. I, it could yeah. work if they do it right. And it's Marvel, so yeah, they've done yeah, pretty good so far. <laughs> the track record with Spider-Man, though, when they add, like, multiple villains, like, there's there for two right now, and it's, it's kind of... Yeah, it's fair. I don't know. I, I, I have faith, man. It'll be good. I mean, but they also, like... They're good with multiple villains because they've shown that with other movies. Like what? Well, I mean, you've seen how they've built the characters in all of the Avengers films. Yeah, like they, they build Loki up so that he could be a good villain. They're building Thanos up pretty well. They might not do it well in one movie, but they can I, yeah, build but, it over time. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, but like it. Whatever. They might as well do it in one movie. I don't know. I'm not having enough faith for that. I, I feel you, man. I feel you. 
Okay. I just I'm trying to be positive. With <laughs> it. I don't know. See, if I'm positive, I get hyped, and then and then I just if I go on without any like expectations, I feel like it's just easier. True. I'm still waiting for Deadpool Homecoming to come out. Deadpool Homecoming. Yeah, Deadpool Homecoming or like Deadpool it's, Prom. It's it's it's, at, it's it's just him and like Spider Man just like slow dancing the entire movie. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> And they're just telling jokes the entire time. Back yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. That would be the best movie ever. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds and this new kid. I can't remember his name. But the new kid's pretty good. Like, they've given him some good lines. And yeah, he's yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's like quirky. Like, I like, I don't know if quirky is the right word, but like, I don't know. He's, he's what the character's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, he's not like suave. Like, I feel like. Yeah. But he's obviously a nerd. Yeah, yeah. You know that much. Yeah. He hasn't gotten very confident yet in himself. Mm. But he's starting to like get that feel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. My head was throbbing <laughs> once I had to move from, once I uh, recovered from the fall. I tried to sit up, but I, I found myself held down by a small but substantial weight. Opening my eyes, I looked up to see Michael sitting on my lap. This is that far we got from last time, by the way? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we might be able to see new stuff. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Wait, we got past this because we were at the shrine. But go ahead. Were we at the shrine already? That's where we stopped. I thought it was in this screen might have been. I don't know. I thought we got to the shrine, though. Well, we'll find out. Uh, owie. Owie! Like, I tried to reach a bit too far. I cannot be here. You saved me. You gave me a soft, oh, kind of soft and kind of hard landing. He's rocking a semi right now. Just going half mast. I I'm, feel I'm, that. I'm into some mask of shit. I'd like it when she, like, kind of crushed them a little, you know? I didn't think I would, but... Uh, just, just yeah, it fair enough. M Michael Jen, do you, uh, do you mind your, um, uh, Crushing me. Wow! Oh my gosh, Dr. Hero, I'm so. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! As the young girl grew increasingly flustered, I knew I had to calm her down. Gently, I tilted my legs beneath her, which toppled forward, head resting against my chest. I guess we learned that uh, fox spears can be pretty clumsy, and maybe that Mayako is even cuter up close than I thought. What? what? Dr. Hero, I, th I think you're mistaking me for a nice monkey. Nope, I'm talking about you. You have the innocent side to you that's really charming. I wouldn't be surprised if lots of other people in the village would want to claim you as their adorable little sister once you've cleared up those misunderstandings. Hmm, I'd be happy to call you my brother, Tucky Hero, but lots of people in that village are super mean. I just want to spend time with you and Onesama. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I was about to say, okay, okay never mind. <laughs> brother? How about darling? <laughs> Duel! I've actually they've they've done that before. It's time to do 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 I think we'd be a cute couple, a hero and a fox spirit. When did we become a hero? I thought we haven't done shit. We're supposed to be the hero, I guess. Only we said that. Literally, us and the elder. The elder like suggests it's a possibility, but he never like confirmed it. True. Hero to Fox Spirit, living happily ever after. It's just a good state too. We could raise a little family. I mean, we already have a house, so we wouldn't have to worry about that. I mean, you could raise a family of two different species. So that kind of fucks you up. Hey, uh, horses and uh, horses and donkeys, man. They make that mule. Yeah, but what about the like, kids human, just can't procreate. A human and a fucking fox, though. Hey. They said I couldn't teach llamas how to drive, and I did. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I. What? That's from like a commercial, right? That's from Astiff. Yeah, that's from they Astiff. said I could never teach a llama how to drive. Nah. No llama, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I got it. I knew this was wrong. I just couldn't remember. <laughs> and any guy from my world would kill out a pretty wife like you. I held back a chuckle, <laughs> knowing all too well that my teasing was taking effect, and yet I was also happy to see her spirits seem, uh, seemingly lifted. <laughs> Thank you, Takami. I think Taka could be better. Majiko probably wouldn't like another sibling, but I'm glad you cheered up. You didn't seem to be, uh, you didn't seem to happy or anything. <laughs> the way you t your tail and ears were hanging low reminded me of a scolded puppy. Huh? All right. I was just thinking as all, you know, about that smell I wanted to try, the one that needs uh, silky wedding undies? Wedding sash. Yeah, it's kind of like a belt that the bride wears during the wedding ceremony. I thought any spell involving pants would be a good idea to cast. Oh, I 
thought it was like wedding undies that you wear on your wedding night. What's, what's that called? A garter. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's not really a, undies. undies yeah, yeah, but like it's yeah. it's essentially. It, it's not supposed to be worn on the wedding night. It's supposed to be worn on the wedding. And you take it off. You, you take it off, and then the guy who catches the garter and the girl who catches the and they know. Uh, what you call it. They're supposed to have him. Uh, move the garter up her leg. Up her leg? Yeah. Up and however really? far however far he gets up her leg is how many years he's supposed to like uh, be married to his next girl or whatever. Wait, how <laughs> like what? Yeah. It's it's like, a very weird tradition. Is, so like 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 can I just like how you can't be that difficult to put on, right? Can That's I just like difficult. just like go, like shove it like all the way up and, like to like your upper thigh and just like ram it up there? Not like you that could, sounds weird, could, but you, like you, you know what I mean. Like, normally, what you do is because you're trying to make like a show for all the people. It's supposed to be like a fun, merry time. Plus, I mean, you're trying to make the girl feel a little bit like nervous, while you are also nervous. <laughs> and so, like, you do it sort of sexily, up the leg. Sexually putting like this, essentially like a band around her leg. That's at least all that I've seen. Every time I've seen it, that's how it's gone. Mm-hmm. It's been yeah. weird as fuck, but it's cool. <laughs> I guess. It's been super weird. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the spell! I don't know why, but I've wanted to try it for a while now. Uh, and well, it's a gate spell. I like those temporary ones. Those are easy to make. A permanent one, like a portal to a different place. Hmm. It sounds interesting. Are you sure it's safe? Simply talking, Eve, that's not the point. The spell, it might be able to help you. Well, that's good and all. I prefer not ending up in the middle of a sea or, like, a live volcano. I think we should be, uh, a bit more careful with your magic. Hmm. I'm a good mage. That's what Harry said when he told uh, Atlantis he had a solution to their water shortage. Huh? What is Atlantis? A city with high ambitions, something in the deep due to poor management. Sweet. Is Harry just a random name? Yes. Yeah, see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm like, did Harry? Like... Did Harry Potter do that? I'm like, what the? F- <laughs> That's what I thought of when he was talking about mages. <laughs> like, Har- Harry, you're the chosen <laughs> one. I don't know how to do the water shortage thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Jordan, pull up the Wikipedia page uh, about the mythos of Atlantis. And, and just, like, and scroll just, through yeah, it or whatever. Yeah, and then we got it. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I think it's best if we get an explorer's opinion before we uh, try anything. An explorer's opinion? Experts, yeah. Explorers. Okay. Close <laughs> enough. Yeah, they both start with EX and per. <laughs> EXP, I mean. Yeah. And, you know, explore and explert. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, we're going to visit us uh, here anyway, so maybe she'll be able to tell us uh, if your spell will get me home. Wow, but Sir Chan told me I shouldn't use magic at all. She said it was only for her, uh, for her use or something. Hmm. Maybe she had a reason saying that. Like, maybe, I don't know, she smells of side effects, like ending the episode right now. Ba boom! <laughs> that was a good joke. Uh, yeah, we could transition. I'm, I'm proud of myself. That was pretty good, man. Yeah. Anyway, my name's Michael from the Jack M13. I'm Cameron from Camsauce505. And this has been the Game Squad's Soccer Spirit. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. I think it's weird that just one tooth is shown, like with characters like this. Like, where's the other tooth? What happened to it? I want to know its story. The other one tooth? Yeah, the other one tooth. What happened to her other, like, 31 teeth? They're behind her lips. But that, just one tooth is, like, big enough to, like... That's her canine. She is too canine, though. Stop it's... trying to use logic. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense! Dear... Fox girls from a different world that might be in the same time period, but not teeth in the same time period. Teeth are teeth, Michael! I mean, sure, teeth are teeth, but like, you have to remember, in anything animated or like drawn or anything, nothing is as it seems. I mean, in the song My Shiny Teeth and Me, the teeth come alive. Yeah, they so don't like, do that. <laughs> they do? do? Do your teeth not come alive when you brush your teeth? I don't brush them well enough, I guess. Yeah. Oh no. It, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot.
Oh, that's what happens. Okay, so yeah. it's like all the blood draining at yeah, that's your teeth alive. Yeah. They're trying to escape. Have you, have you ever seen that Ren and Stimpy episode when he pulls all his teeth out? Oh my god. It's like that. That fucking it was so scary. <laughs> With like the nerves hanging, yeah. <laughs> so scary. Whenever they do like the photorealistic shit in Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy like all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Ren and Stimpy's fun though. That in uh, Cat Dog. They did, yeah, they did they it in that. Cat Dog and it was scary. I don't know, but I feel like Cat Dog wasn't like as scary. Like, it wasn't supposed to be scary, yeah, yeah. but it had scary moments. That's fair. Whereas, like, Curse the Cowardly Dog and Ren and Stimpy were designed to be scary. Yeah, that's true. 